Welcome back. I'm Brent Hunsaker. And I'm Kim Fisher. A three-year-old girl born with only one hand now has increased mobility thanks to her uncle. ABC4's Emily Clark shows us how this high school senior was able to build a prosthetic hand. This little firecracker is three-year-old Nora. The girl with the million-dollar smile and gorgeous eyes was born without a right hand. When she was born, we had no prior knowledge uh, that she didn't have a hand. And despite the potential setback, Nora can do almost everything. Unlock doors, ride her scooter, drop, and for anything she can't, her uncle Tanner came up with a fix. I built a uh, prosthetic hand. Tanner and Nora's parents saw a story on TV about a group in South Africa making prosthetic hands for kids who need them there. So they got the plans from the internet and Tanner got to work. I got a hold of those and I got the finger designs and everything else I've uh, built to fit my niece. That might seem like quite the undertaking, especially for a senior in high school. And while it was, this guy has always had a gift. Since I was like a little kid, I've always liked building stuff. I was like the duct tape guru. Using those talents and equipment in his engineering classes at Harriman High School, Tanner built what Nora calls her robot hand. Robot hand. Giving Nora five more fingers, an entire hand. We built it so that when she flexes her wrist down, it pushes the fingers down like that. Tanner won science competitions for the robot hand and he will go to a national competition this summer. But that's just an extra bonus. The real success, the smile on Nora's face and the possibilities of what this will do to her life. And that's what means the most. It's fun to play around with. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Nora's parents hope this creation can help others as well. This is something that not only would help Nora and our family, but that it could impact others as well. And there is one thing this family knows for sure. Nora is a very happy girl whose uncle loves her so much he made her the robot hand, which they will be painting hot pink as soon as a smaller version is done. Emily Clark, ABC4 News. All right, joining me now are Tanner, Tanner, Nora, and Nora's mom, Marilee. Thank you guys for joining us. Oh, sure. Glad to be here. So uh, let's talk about this hand. Um, was making it very difficult? I think more of the trial and error stuff was the hardest part, yeah. trying to get everything to fit right and get everything measured to fit her properly and so that it wouldn't be too bulky but wouldn't be small enough that it could just snap off when she went to grab something. Okay, now, we didn't hear this in the story. How did you come up with this idea? I thought that was pretty cool. Um, well, we saw that uh, article on the Internet of the young boy from South Africa that got a hand uh, like this built for him. Yeah. And so, and it just so happens that she has a hand almost identical to that little boy. And so she can, you know, move her wrist around. Right. And, and so I figured if she can be able to bend her wrist down and close the fingers, yeah. she'd be able to grab stuff. And so that's the whole process behind the hand. So. Um, you think Nora would be willing to demonstrate? Can you show yeah. us how it works? You want to put it on? Okay. Look at that. That is so cool. Okay, so how long did it take for you to create this? Um, this took me about two months from start to finish, yeah. but this is just the prototype one. Uh, that was, this one was just made so I could actually get it to work right. before I went on to build the smaller one for her. That's awesome. And so, obviously, you were an engineering student. You love doing this kind of stuff, but does it mean more to you knowing that you're doing this for your niece? Yeah, it's, it's super rewarding <laughs> just to see her smile and play around with it. And when we show up to her house, she's like, do you have my robot hand done yet? What, wait, what is that, Nora? What do you call that? Robot. I love it. Robot <laughs> hand. Okay, and so you're starting to kind of get a lot of attention from all this. Were you expecting that at all? I wasn't. I was kind of hesitant at first. Um, I actually wasn't planning on going to that science competition, uh -huh. and my engineering teacher at Harriman uh, told me, he's like, you could go far with this. He's yeah. like, put it in there. And so we put it in there, and uh, my group that I had, we ended up winning. So That is so awesome. Okay, and let me ask you, what is this like happening in your family? This is your brother doing this for your daughter. Oh, it's been awesome. It was um, a little more emotional than we thought, because we didn't want her to feel like we were trying to change her or anything. Right. And uh, when we saw that video, I remembered Tanner saying he had access to a 3D printer, and it was so cool. And um, we showed it to him, and he was just like, let's do it. Let's make it work and figure it out. And he's got the brain for it. He has been able to figure out what pieces would work for her, and it's been really neat. I mean, it's, and I have to tell you, it's 
crazy impressive to see <laughs> what you have done. I mean, especially as a, as a high school senior to do all this. So tell me, what are, what are your future plans from here? Um, I would actually like to kind of do this as a side job, maybe. Yeah. Um, maybe not full time, but I think it'd be nice to be able to build, build these in the future once yeah. I can perfect them and get it to where it's... Uh, kind of a flawless design so well we appreciate you guys sharing your story it's been very touching all of us in the newsroom have absolutely loved it so and thank, <laughs> thank you for stopping you. by today oh, thanks pleasure.